Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Medians of a Triangle, Altitudes of a Triangle, Angle Sum Property of Triangle, Exterior Angles of a Triangle, Types of Triangles wherein we will discuss scaling Triangles, Isosceles and Equilateral Triangle, Property of lengths of sides of triangle, right angle triangle, and Pythagoras theorem. Triangles. What are they and where do we see them? Think of a hut which you often used to draw when you were a kid. So when anybody asked you to draw a hut, you were very eager to draw it somewhat like this. Now when you look at the upper portion of the hut, this is nothing but a triangle. What it is, how does it look like? It looks like a closed shape which has three sides. So this is one side, this is the other side and this is the third side. So you have a, a shape, a closed shape bounded by three sides. That's a triangle. You look at the pyramids, the picture of pyramids, which you would have definitely seen in your uh, books or uh, on television. Now, when you look at this pyramid, you get the shape of a triangle. You see, this is how a triangle looks like. Even for the smaller ones, you get to see the shape of a triangle. Think of a situation where you want to climb up the ladder to reach out to something on the upper shelf. Now when you place your ladder, so do you see triangle anywhere? You might be thinking that no, I really do not see a triangle. But there actually is a triangle in this situation as well. Just think of it somewhat this way. When you look at it, look at this entire thing where you have a wall, you have a ladder and when you look at the orientation from one side of it, what do you see? you again see a triangle. So the ladder, the wall and the ground, they together form a triangular shape again. Even the arrow in the game which you play, right? Uh, just to check whether you shot the arrow at the right point or not. So when you closely look at this arrow, so there also you encounter a triangle. So you see in small, small things around us, we see triangles, we use triangles. So triangles are a very, are one of the common shapes that we come across in our day to day life. So what exactly is a triangle? The name itself says triangle. Tri means three. So basically it is something with, it, it is a geometrical shape with three angles. So it is basically a polygon with three sides. So three sides, therefore three angles. What is a polygon? A polygon is a, a figure which is uh, closed, which is formed only by line segments. So here you can say this is a closed polygon. That is, you have line segments forming a closed structure. And how many sides do you have? You have three sides. Now, when you look at this triangle on the picture, this is normally represented in this fashion. Triangle ABC. So we do not write the word triangle. Instead, we just put this symbol of a small triangle and then we write ABC. Now, the basic elements of triangles are sides, angles and vertices. So, when we say sides, so what are the sides for the, this triangle? So, AB, BC and AC. These are the three sides of the triangle, AB, BC and AC. Next are the vertices. So, what are vertices? Vertices are those points where the sides meet. For example, point A. So, A is a vertex. So at A, B, A and C, A, they both meet. Similarly at B, A, B and C, B, they meet. Similarly, A, C and B, C, they meet at point C. Therefore, points A, B and C are the vertices of the triangle. And then the third element that is angle. And which, which are the angles? Angles tell us the orientation between the sides. For example, this angle A which can also be named as angle B, A, C. This shows the orientation between A, B and A, C. Similarly, this angle B shows the orientation between A, B and B, C. So this can be written as angle A, B, C. Similarly, this angle which can be written as angle A, C, B. This shows the orientation between A, C and B, C. 
so all in all there are six elements which define a triangle what are those six elements three so all in all there are some nine elements which uh, you know kind of uh, determine or which specifies a triangle three sides three vertices and three angles now a couple of other things are for this angle BAC let's say this is BAC so for this particular angle which is the opposite side so the side located opposite to it that means that side which doesn't participate in the formation of this angle so for angle BAC if you take example of BAC for this angle the opposite side would be BC Similarly, if you talk about angle ACB, which one would be the opposite side? So, which is the side which is located to angle ACB? It is this side, that is AB. Similarly, if you take example of any side, let's say uh, if, if you talk about side AC. So, for AC, this is the side AC, which is the opposite angle. So, the opposite angle would be this angle. So, for AC, the opposite angle would be angle ABC. Similarly, for AB, which one would be the opposite angle? This is AB, so the opposite angle would be angle C. So, for AB, opposite angle would be angle ACB. So, these are some of the very common uh, properties or the basics of a triangle. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.